Hey guys, welcome to Ben Wrenching. My name is Ben, and today I'm wrenching on my 94 Chevy K1500. I'm still working on the AC on this thing, and today I'm going to show how to replace this high pressure switch. I already did the low pressure switch, and it's the same process for that one. It's just a 5 8 inch instead of a 14 millimeter wrench that you need. But that's really all you need to switch this out is one wrench. And I'm going to get into a little bit why I am throwing parts at this thing. With mechanic work, there's a term that we throw around called the parts cannon, and I am always a fan of pulling out the parts cannon. I'm not shy to do it, and I will tell you a little bit why as I get into this. So real quick, some of the things that I've already done. I've checked the pressures and filled the refrigerant. I've got a video for that. Uh, my pressures are pretty good. The low pressure is where it should be. The high pressure is a little bit low. Uh, so I know that the compressor isn't working at its full potential. To me, that means I probably need to change the compressor. The reason that I'm hesitant to do that is because then I have to open up the whole system, pull the refrigerant out, change the compressor. I'd also need to change the accumulator. Anytime you open the system, you want to do that. And I would also be changing out the orifice tube, which is either located right here or down near uh, the inlet to the condenser. I'm pretty sure mine's in here, but I wouldn't know until I got into it. But I don't want to open the system if I don't have to. And so that's where the parts can comes in. Is there anything that I can change that I don't have to open the system for? The two things that I know about are these pressure switches. And all they do is tell the system when the pressures aren't where they should be and they kick off the compressor. Now I can show that my compressor works and I don't necessarily think the problem is that the compressor is faulting out or that either of these switches is tripping the compressor. I do have a little bit of evidence of that. Sometimes when I first start the truck and I'm taking off, uh, when I give it gas, the compressor will start to kind of kick off and on. And that's what gives me a little bit of an inkling that it's possible that one of these switches was causing that to happen. Now, I don't think that's going to fix my AC, but again, I don't want to open up the system if I don't have to. That's where for a low risk, high reward, you can pay a little bit of money, uh, switch these switches out and see if that fixes it. Like I said, I already did that low pressure switch. It was very easy to do. It was a $12 part. And now I know that I have a brand new low pressure switch and it is not causing any faults. So I'm going to do the same thing with this high pressure switch. It's located right here. All I need is a 14 millimeter wrench to get it off. And I don't have to open the system in order to change this out. So in order to do this, I just need to take off this electrical connection. Just got this tab that pulls up. And then you slide off the electrical connector. 14 millimeter wrench and just loosen this right off. So this one here is a $25 part. It's a little more expensive than I like to uh, launch into the parts cannon. However, like I said, I really don't mind doing it if uh, it means that it's possible that I could fix this just by switching out this switch. So I don't think it's gonna fix it, but to me for 25 bucks and not having to open the system, if this fixes it, great. If not, I know that I've got a new switch and this is not causing problems. So for me, it just makes sense. I might as well do it and see if it fixes it. So there we go. Took me maybe a couple of minutes to do that. And now I can test it again and see if anything changes. So it's the same thing for this low pressure switch. You just pull this connector off, spin this off with a 5 8 wrench, put the new one on and put your connector back on. So this one here was $12. I'll link that as well as this high pressure switch in the description. But each of those being cheap and not having to open the system gives me a reason to go ahead and swap them out, make sure they're not causing problems and see if there's any change after I swap them out. All right, so with the new switch in, I can turn the truck on and I'll test it to see if my AC is getting any colder than it was. So we are at 85 degrees right now and we'll see if we get any cooler with the new high pressure switch. All right, so it's been running for a few minutes. There's no change. And I can see that my compressor is still spinning. So for whatever reason, that compressor is just not working. I'll probably have to end up replacing that. So like I said, I'll do that as well as the accumulator and the orifice tube. So you heard it from me. It's okay to pull out the parts cannon and try some things. Cheap parts, you switch them out, you know those work now. You get a new part out of it, you learn something new. 
And sometimes, like another video that I showed where I changed the tensioner pulley on the belt, uh, I changed out the tensioner pulley to see if that was maybe a little bit loose. And what I found when I took that off is that I needed a new belt. So that was a benefit of pulling out the parts cannon, trying something new, and finding out that I actually did fix a problem. It wasn't the one that I expected, but I did fix something that needed to be fixed. So you heard it from me. It's okay to use the parts cannon. Learn something new, get a new part out of the deal, have a low-risk, high-reward situation on your hands and have fun in the process. So don't let anybody tell you that uh, if you're using the parts cannon that you don't know what you're doing. Um, I'll be the first to admit, I don't know everything and I'm learning as I go. So I learn new things every day with the parts that I switch out. And to me, $12 is worth it. So there's a lot of benefits to the parts cannon. I wouldn't knock it and I would certainly encourage anybody if they're thinking about changing something out and they're not sure if it's gonna work or not, do your own assessment. And if, if it's worth it to go ahead and buy the part and, try it and see what happens then do that all right guys thanks for putting up with my rant and stick around if you want to see me change out that compressor and some other parts of the ac and hopefully get this ac working again that's it for today thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video